Welcome back to our channel. Today we are going to be reading Jurassic Park Lost in the Wild. Before we get started, uh, I just wanted to thank everybody uh, for subscribing and watching our channel. If you're new to the channel, consider subscribing and uh, you know if you've been a long time subscriber, I'd be appreciate your support. Um, now without further ado, let's get into this book, Jurassic World Lost in the Wild. Meet Ben Pincus. Ben is making sure he has everything he needs in his suitcase and fanny pack. Do I have enough san hand sanitizer? Ben is nervous. He does not like being away from home. He's going to a camp, but it's not just any camp. Ben is going to Camp Cretaceous. It's at Jurassic World. It may be the coolest camp ever. He will be on an island with dinosaurs. Ben meets the other campers. Everyone is excited to see dinosaurs. Well, everyone but Ben. I can't wait to see dinosaur, says Darius. Ben says, I can. Camp is off to a good start. Everyone is having a great time. Well, everyone but Ben. Then something happens. The dinosaurs run wild. The dinosaurs rampage. The campers are stranded by themselves. They must find a way off the island. Run for the monorail! The monorail will take them to the docks. The campers can escape on a boat unless something happens. Uh oh. Petronodons. Guess what? Something happens. A petronodon captures Ben. Arr! Another Petronagon flies close and starts a fight. The first dinosaur lets go of Ben. Ben falls through the trees. He hits branches after branch. The branches slow his fall. Whack! Bam! Crack! Ben hits the ground. He realizes that his friends aren't with him. I'm in the jungle alone. But soon, Ben discovers that he is not alone. Bumpy? Bumpy is a friendly dinosaur. Ben meets her before everything went crazy. We'll be okay. Then Ben realizes he does not have any his fanny pack anymore. No fanny pack means no hand sanitizer, no map, no snacks, only germs. Ben is getting hungry. He and Bumpy find a bush with big red berries. Bumpy drives right in and dives right in and eats a whole bunch, but Ben doesn't like the taste. Ben doesn't like the berries. Maybe he'll like some yummy roots. Bumpy sure does. Yuck, so dirty. Chomp. Life in the jungle sure isn't easy, but at least Ben has Bumpy. Bumpy, wake up! You're drooling! New plan. Go this way. Ben tries to make the best of it. He and Bumpy decide to find a way off the island. But Ben and Bumpy are in trouble. A stegosaurus shows up and ruins their plans. New plan. Run! Ben and Bumpy run away from the Stegosaurus. They find a valley. I see something, Bumpy. It's a road. Ben knows that all roads lead to the main park. If they go there, they can turn on an emergency beacon. There's just one problem. A huge Carnotosaurus is blocking their way. Ben's friends called the dinosaurs Toro. Roar! Toro sees Ben. He starts running after him. Ben heads for the trees. Ben and Bumpy get away, but with Toro guarding his territory, they will not be able to get past. Back at Ben's camp, an exciting Bumpy makes a mess. Ben is upset. 
It took him a long time to build his home. Ben yells at Bumpy. Go away. It starts to rain, but Ben feels so alone. He wishes he had his friends and Bumpy. Ben looks around his campfire. He sees Bumpy's footprints. If only he had been so mean to his friends. Who's that? Ben hears a noise and looks up. There are glowing eyes watching him. He is super scared. A group of Campuso Neticias chase Ben. He runs as fast as he can, but the compies follow. Ben trips on a log and falls into a puddle of mud. The compies come closer and closer. Ben closes his eyes. Suddenly he feels a strength he has never felt before. He stands up and screams at the compie. Arr! When, Bell, when Ben yells, the dinosaurs back off. He can't believe it. The compies are afraid of him. You're scared of me. The compies run away. Ben has won. I am the defeater of dinosaurs. Ben learns to survive on his own. He eats bugs and berries. And he's not afraid of germs anymore. He climbs trees to avoid Toro. One day, Ben decides he is done letting Toro keep him from Main Street. Bumpy returns to join Ben. She is much bigger now. Ben is glad to have his pal back. They face Toro together. Ben is ready this time. He isn't going to run away. Roar! Toro runs at Ben and Bumpy, but Ben isn't scared. He stands his ground. Arr! Toro is confused. Why won't they run? Instead, Bumpy attacks. Slap! Ben gets Toro a smack with his spear. That'll teach him. Ben leaps past Toro. The dinosaur tries to bite Ben, but he misses. Ben and Bumpy escape Toro. They make it to the road, which means they're closer to the main park and to home. With his newfound courage and with Bumpy by his side, Ben is almost out of the wild. Yay! The end. Thank you for watching. Hope you guys enjoyed Jurassic Park Lost in the Wild, a Netflix original series. Stay tuned for more book reads coming soon. Take care, guys, and thank you so much for watching. Goodbye. Bye.